Buddy, come on. You coming? Good lad. Should we go for a ride, kid? Hello, YouTube, and all you people in the metaverse and beyond. Oh, what a lovely day! That bloody time, that's for sure. But uh, it's still a little bit chilly, I'm not going to lie. I've still got my full Gore-Tex on. But yeah, we're out. We're out for a bimble, aren't we, Budsy? <laughs> he was all like, I'm going, I'm going, come on. Let's get the bike out, let's go. It's a beautiful day. A beautiful day. So I thought I would, uh, while we're out for a bimble today, I thought we would uh, have a bit of a recap on the uh, ownership of a Scrambler 1200 XE. Did I make the right decision? This is the question. Did I make the right decision? So yeah, that's the question, isn't it? Was it the right decision for me? Uh, was it the right decision to swap from the mighty 900 Tiger and buy the beautiful 1200 Scrambler XE? Well, yeah. I still think I made the right decision for me. Don't get me wrong, the 900 is a beautiful bike and it's perfect for, you know, all occasions really. You go around the world on it if you want to. But I just wasn't feeling like I was in love with the bike. I didn't feel like, I'd already had that ownership. I felt like, because I did 55,000 miles in development on the Tiger 900, I just felt like I'd already had that relationship. And it wasn't long after I bought the bike, I started to get this feeling that, do you know what? I don't think this bike is for me purely because I've already had that experience of it but the one bike that I didn't have a lot to do with was the beautiful Scrambler and I gotta say oh what a bike it is it really was for me the right decision I, ju I love riding it I love owning it I just I just love it I'm in love with it and uh, it, it ticks all the boxes for me in every way I mean as you can see styling wise she's absolutely beautiful uh, Yes, I'm getting to the point now. I need new tyres and uh, There's a few little bits and bobs little blemishes So I noticed that you know on the engine casings here even though I've AC fifted everything all the way through the winter There's a little bit of wear there a few of the clips starting to rust up But you know what for a 2019 uh, Bike that I've ridden through the winter and you know it's not been put away through the the nasty weather it's been out in in all sorts of weather from sleet snow rain shine i just love this bike absolutely bloody amazing the tall screen made a really big difference uh, for the budsy i still get quite a bit of buffeting um for me on my helmet but you know i can live with that uh, I knew this when I was looking at the option of it being a naked bike compared to the 900. Um, you know, there's not as much protection, weather protection for the rider as what there is on the 900. But I just love the look of it. I love the style of it. And uh, yeah, it's a bike I'm definitely still in love with. Yeah, so if you're thinking that maybe this is a change you're looking at, that you want to go from a modern day venture bike to something a bit more retro, uh, with a bit more classic style to it, then do you know what? You cannot go wrong with the mighty 1200 XE. Uh, just what a bike, absolutely loving it. I love the engine, Just, I just love everything. And what's up with you? What's up with you? What, you wanna go riding? I'll just stop in for five minutes, kid. Just five minutes. And then we'll get back on the road, all right? And I'll take you down to the idle talk. How's that? What do you reckon? Yes? Okay. Just give me two minutes, we'll finish videoing, and then we'll get gone, all right? Back on the road. Yeah, so we get back on the road. I'm gonna to head to um, a little bike meet that happens on a Saturday, not far from me. So we're gonna to go to a place called Idle Talks, an amazing place, it's an old farmyard. There's a blacksmith's there, a cafe, lovely motorcycle um, clothing shop for all sorts of classic bikes, dirt bikes. Um, today, with the weather being so nice, <laughs> there should be lots of people out and about. But we'll find out when we get there. Let's hit the road. Yeah, so as you can see, I absolutely love this bike. Oh, it just tickles my boat. Oh, love it. But I still love the monkey. 
for different reasons you know that little bike makes me smile makes me feel 30 years younger but the scrambler just for me it's a rider's bike you know and uh, I love riding it you know from throwing it into corners on tight twisty lanes and even do a bit of dual carriageway and a bit of motorway if you so wish I have due a new set of tyres now and you can feel it it's quite vague uh, in places amazing what a new set of tyres makes to any bike really but uh, I guarantee it will make this 100% better so yeah we are booked in for the DGR ride and because the perfect bike to do it on on the 19th of May so the links below if you'd like to donate I tell you I've got a thousand subscribers and if you all gave a pound that would be amazing so yeah this afternoon we thought we'd uh, we'd head to Idle Talk we've not been there this year uh, oh, mainly because the weather's been absolutely shocking absolutely shocking for the start of this year but today is a glorious day tomorrow's supposed to be quite nice as well she picks up quick oh yeah it's still a little bit chilly I'm not gonna lie but in a nice way because when you stop you sweat your nads off but when you go in there is a little bit of chill in the air I think it's about 16 17 degrees today so anybody local to the Midlands um, you know anywhere anybody near Hinkley, Nuneaton, Rugby around that area that's never been to Idle Talk you want to get yourself there on a Saturday some lovely bikes there's a beautiful shop and a really nice cafe and of course a whole bunch of beautiful people because motorcyclists are the best community in the world stand by that for sure so the monkey camper well she's coming on slowly but surely I'm starting to realize that uh, for every two steps you take you take three back and you've always got to try and think ten steps ahead that's for sure but she's coming on she's coming on hopefully the deadline I've given myself for well not to finish her but so she's uh, we can live in her for a few days is for the ABR with the two monkeys in the back because uh, that's what the monkey camp was all about and uh, yeah hopefully we will be able to get quite a few adventures this year in the monkey camper the odd weekend weekend here and there <laughs> I do love this bike I've been watching the mighty teapot one and his series that he did uh, in America and I gotta say you know with reference to the Tiger 900 I just I'm so glad I got to see him actually get a good stint in riding one because he absolutely loves it and, and for me as uh, part of the team that developed that bike it, it makes me feel like a proud father you know um, because it is a bloody good bike There's, I'm not, never taking anything away from the Tiger 900 just because you know I decided that the 1200 Scrambler XV was more for me because the 900 is a bloody amazing bike and anybody that's got one will know that anybody that's thinking about getting one you will not be disappointed but as ever when it comes to motorcycles I think it has to tick all the boxes for it to float your boat you know um, and <laughs> this bike definitely does that for me aesthetically the way it rides the power the power where I want it, you know, I love that in mid-range torque, it just for the kind of riding that me and Bodsy do, it's amazing. I'm not interested about top end, you know, I like the power in the middle where I can use it through the twisties. But like I say, you go on a bit of dual carriageway and she'll cruise on that as well. But this bike will pretty much do everything. It'll do everything the 900 will, that's for sure. Apart from this bike, it's better to go to the pub on or a bike meet. So yeah, you know when you're not far, could you come to what we call the airplane island? Which, uh, as you can see, it's because it's got a bloody airplane on it. I had, uh, <laughs> I did some some moonlighting um, last weekend. <laughs> it was a wet weekend, and uh, somebody reached out to me and asked me if I would run in um, a new fire blade picture of the fire blade 
and do you know what what an awesome bike oh my god that thing's fast um, and planted and just the technology that's in that bike is amazing but I gotta say damn I hurt for about three days after it made me realize <laughs> why I don't own a sports bike anymore mentally absolutely bloody loved it physically my body says you could do one mate we're having none of that in our lives so uh, obviously when I took it back picked the Marty Scrambler back up I gotta say oh god it was like slipping a pair of comfy slippers back on it was beautiful never been so so pleased to see a motorcycle to see this one so yeah into the beautiful coats batch which is just like a little village on a horseshoe don't know how many's going to be here today i mean the weather's lovely but you know, just never know do you so as soon as you see the church you pretty much turn left and when you see this sign here look idle talk a new place a new home for a while let me feel alive nothing to hold me back take my time just enjoy the ride a new man passing by Life is good, best I've ever felt Get me up, so in, so where I can find myself Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive Been about an hour now, I gotta say Some beautiful bikes here and it is a beautiful place And it's always good to have a chat with like-minded people that love a motorcycle and yeah so uh, if you've never been to idle talk definitely come down and uh, have a look have a chat see what's going on as i reach out reach out reach out reach out to the sky i found my way i found my way I was in the dark against it all, but made it through the day. Cause I found my way, I found my way. In bad times, I know I'll be okay. Cause I found my way. What a beautiful day, beautiful! It was a good turnout. I think uh, this is what we've got now, the weather's kicking in! It was good to uh, bump into a few people. I've seen uh, Louis the sidecar dog, he's a legend in himself. Might make that a bit wider for you, kid. So when you want to bunker down, you can. I think that's what I'm going to do. So yeah, <laughs> another good turnout lovely bunch of people some beautiful bikes oh gotta say but uh we're at home we're not too far away and uh just a general reminder to you oh the buddy merch is now up if anybody fancies a buddy t-shirt or a buddy mug head over to the link below and uh you can find all his paraphernalia and buddy merch there and also anybody that would like to support us and um donate and sponsor us for the DGR then do you know what it'd be amazing if you can whatever you can afford even if it's just a pound um, it's for a really worthy cause prostate cancer and uh, we'll be heading from the Tamworth uh, dealership we'll be hooking up with the works That's there he's giving Freddie Dobbs um, Bonneville back to him on the same day so it'd be good to catch up with, uh, with Joe and say hello and uh, anybody else that's at Tamworth, come and say hello. <laughs> yeah, no, we love talking to people. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I say, out for a bimble. So on that note, thank you very much for joining us today. Just live your best life. Stay safe, 
Live your best life, buddy! Live your best life. Chica 